banana. Mm. Hey, it is me, Hannah B, and you already know what this video is. 100 subscribers special. Yes. I don't know what that was. Anyways, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Embodiment of thank you. Just put that in your hearts and realize that you are awesome. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this little thing. If you don't know what this is, it's a Big Daddy bouncer doll from Bioshock. He's really, really cute. I mean, he's not perfect because I made him in like three hours maybe, but I think he's really cute. So if you want to watch how to make this guy, then you can go and watch the video. However, I'm going to be doing a Q&A in the video also. So watch the background and you can see what I'm doing. I'll also be answering questions. So yeah. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is paint the bottoms of red thumbtack silver. I failed there, as you can see, uh, to represent the spokes on the front of the big daddy's face. All right, while I'm dismembering this doll, let's answer some questions. What kind of screen capture program do you use? How did you get started on making videos? Yay, first comment. I use OBS, it is a free webcam recording thing. How did I get started on making videos? I just thought it'd be really fun to, you know, just share the fun times I have on video games with some people and I really wanna make people laugh and make them feel better. So yeah, I'm still dismembering this doll. On to the next question. Can I be your fan number one? Of course you can. Guys, go check this chick out. Comment on her channel, say how awesome she is. She did my first fan art. She's awesome. All right, I'm just fixing this guy's leg and prepping it for stripes. What's your favorite game? My favorite game is gonna have to be Outlast. It's got a great story. I really, really like it. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a mouse and two cats and a betta fish. Kind of YouTubers to watch. I love C Nanners. He's so awesome. He's always happy all the time. He's so funny and I don't know. He's just really awesome. What was the first video game you have ever played? Uh, I think Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 64. It's, I feel so old. <laughs> it was a while back though and uh, you know. Haha, <laughs> sorry for all the questions, but yeah, it is not even a problem. Thank you for asking so many questions, actually. Alright, I got his little feet attached. Du -du -du. Yeah. So while I'm drawing on his stripes and colors, next question. Do you only play horror games or do the games vary? Actually, I don't. I, I really like horror games, but there will be more games added onto my channel shortly. I'm just really lazy and I don't upload them. But uh, no, I will be uploading different games shortly. Don't want to spoil anything, but uh, maybe some Minecraft involved. I don't know. There's going to be Minecraft. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much s oh, wait, 1 to 1. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 1, how much swag do you have? Not as much as you. This guy actually made my intro that I use on almost all my videos. Go to his channel also and be like, hey, you're awesome. Alright, so I'm going to work on his hand. Just stuffing it up. What is your favorite scary movie? What is your favorite scary video game? My favorite scary movie or movies would have to be Insidious 1 and Insidious Chapter 2. Those were awesome movies. I really liked them, full of jump scares. And I like this story also. What is your favorite scary video game? My favorite scary video game, Outlast. It, it's just really awesome. I love this story. Haven't finished it yet, but I love it. All right, so for this part, I screwed a bottle cap onto the bottom of the baseball. And I stitched around the outside of the arm and left a small string to pull tight so that we can attach the arm to the rope. With a little help from Mama Banana Phone, I pulled it around the rope and we glued it in to make sure it stayed on. 
Where are you from? How old are you? I think you're 16, aren't you? How many Twitter accounts do you have? You will play more games by yourself or with someone multiplayer? I am from a lot of places. My dad's actually in the military, so we move around a lot. How old am I? Uh, close. I'm actually 15. Uh, how many Twitter accounts do you have? I have two. I really don't use the one because I lost all my information to it, but, you know. You'll play more games by yourself or with some multi- I play multiplayer a lot, I just don't get a chance to upload them because I, I edit out some parts and, you know. But yeah, I do play multiplayer. I glued a thimble onto a long wire to make the Big Daddy's corkscrew arm. It was a little hot there. <laughs> Next, we twisted the wire around a pencil to make the small attachment. Do a cola plus milk challenge. Well, that's not really a question, but hey, I asked you to do that, so yeah. Uh, I'm kind of scared to do that. I've never heard of that, but I can possibly try it. Alright, so you're gonna make way to attach his head, which you will flip down the flap. Flip down the flap. Okay, we're gonna work on his head now. <laughs> so he has eight spokes in his head, which are the red thumb tacks you made earlier. You're gonna stick them in his head. It's a little hard because it's a baseball, but get a hammer and they'll go in a lot easier. Once you got them all in, you're going to add some paper clips and tie them around to make the wire cage around the Big Daddy doll's face. Attractive girl who games does not compute. Error, error. Well, you know, uh, I don't think that's a question, but thanks for the compliment. So for this part, you're going to want to make sure that you get the paper clips into the stitches of the baseball because they will stick their best. Can you draw something? I want to see how you draw. Ah, uh, if you saw my picture at the beginning of the video, that's about the extent of my drawing. <laughs> Next, you're going to want to color a rubber band to place around the baseball head. Oh, it's also a great idea to actually apply the rubber band around the face before you apply the cage because it'll just be a struggle otherwise. Up oh, there, I got it. Good job. All right. Moving on, we're going to attach the head now and you have to tie it really tight I'd stitch it around the bottle cap and if you can try to get your actual stitching into the stitching the baseball that will really help to keep it in place since it is a bit top heavy Why don't you come down? next I took a black pill bottle and painted it with black nail polish I didn't actually have the <laughs> paint because we're still unpacking so I had to use nail polish rest in peace to the nail polish that was used to cover this whole pill bottle all right you're gonna want to take the, a big rubber band and attach the canister to him add a little scarf and you are done and he will look a adorable so here he is once more. I think he turned out pretty well. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It was made in a post-apocalyptic underwater world. So uh, yeah, I think he did pretty good. <laughs> Anyways guys, I cannot thank you enough for liking and subscribing like it always says at the end of my videos for all this stuff. I thank you, thank you guys so much. If you guys tried to make one of these guys, let me know. Send me a link to it, I'll watch it. I really hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so very much for 100 subscribers. Bye guys.